Thanks to all three of you. <clears throat> Ambassador White, I was recently in Port-au-Prince, as I mentioned, and I stayed at a nice place, and there was a heavy rainstorm. And the woman who I was, was the, kind of the manager of the property, uh, we were looking out the window at the rain, and she said, tomorrow morning uh, in Port-au-Prince, they will report how many people died. I said, died? She said, from the rain. I said, it's a heavy rainstorm, but why would people die? She said, there'll be drownings in Port-au-Prince as a result of rainfall. The story behind that has a lot to do with the fact that this country has very little, if any, infrastructure to move water or sewage, for that matter. It is just open. It runs through the streets and overwhelms residences and drowns children, that sort of thing. But there's a second part to the story, and that is what has happened to Haiti as a country. If you could lift this up, Sean. It's not difficult to see the border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Surely is not. Because to the right in this island of Hispaniola is the Dominican Republic, which has had a serious effort to plant trees. To the left is Haiti, where the trees have just been removed. So when the rain falls, it comes rolling down these hills and mountains into these cities, drowning the poor people who live there. Thanks. I've tried to put some money in, as I mentioned earlier, for various projects, and one of them is reforestation in Haiti. They cannot reclaim this land for agricultural purposes or any purpose until they deal with that issue. And it's hard, because people chop down every tree they, they happen to grow because they need wood for heat, you know, when it gets chilly by their standards. <laughs> when I brought this up with the previous president, he kind of laughed at me and said, it'll never work. I think it has to work, and when President Martelli raise this as one of his concerns, I hope that you will make it one of yours when you're ambassador, that we can join in this effort toward reforestation. So I'd like to have your comment. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. It will be something that I will look at. Unfortunately, during the five, year, five years that I was in Haiti, I literally saw that happen right before my eyes, that it kept coming lower and lower and lower. They kept chopping more and more trees. And back in those days, AID tried desperately to stop it too by planting trees, planting trees, they'd chop them down, we'd plant, they'd chop them down, we'd plant. It was just an endless cycle of uh, wasted money, to tell you the honest to God truth. And so what we've uh, decided to do now are two, kind of two things. One, well, actually three things. One, we're going to tie the planting of trees to fruit trees and trees that can actually pr uh, give a profit. And they sell the mango or they sell the cocoa or they sell the coffee or whatever. So there will be less incentive to cut down the tree. That's one thing. The second thing is we're going to do some plantings higher up and, and try to protect them so that they will take root. It, doesn't, you know, it takes maybe six, weeks, six months to a year to really get the root in there. We're going to have to use some protection of some, uh, some uh, fir trees, and et cetera, to keep uh, on the higher levels so the, the fruit trees won't grow up there. But I think the key that we didn't use 25 years ago was that we've got to give a decent substitute for charcoal or they just kind of keep cutting down the trees because they need something to cook their food with. I mean, people got to eat. So we've got to decide what is that alternate fuel and how can we use it, how can we introduce it. And we're starting some, uh, some pilot programs and using gas, uh, using uh, some briquettes that are made out of things that are not wood, et cetera. So I think that's going to have to be the key, that we're going to find a substitute for the wood so the wood can do what it needs to do and, and, and save the, the banks from falling into the ocean and killing people. 